Hey guys, this is Marco Tronquet and we are Tronquet Boats. It's a nice beautiful morning here today. We are just outside the Manila Yacht Club and I'm here to take you on a walkthrough of this 33 Interceptor Open. Here we have our anchor locker. We have a large storage for your rope. We have your anchor compartment here. Large area to store all your rope or your uh, stainless chain. And then in the bow, we have our anchor roller and uh, our actual anchor. So it's going to be easy to launch your anchor from the bow. So lots of uh, a space also here to uh, walk around. We have a big gunnel where also large space to step on. Here in the front, we have large seating area. It's a U-type seating with a center table that converts into a bed completely. So it has a three-stage pedestal that you can just push down and the whole table in the bow turns into a bed area. For this end of the area seating, we can also have an option to put a hinged bracket type uh, backrest so that you can be facing in the front if uh, you are seated here. That's another option. Basically, you have uh, seating for up to around eight persons and when you convert it into a bed, it becomes a large sun deck. Here we have additional seating to the front, right in front of the console, good for two people comfortably seated, facing forward during uh, travel. Here we have your portable cooler and freezer. So, you have your drinks underneath, it's 25 liters. And this whole thing stores under the bow center console uh, seat. Inside the center console, we actually have a very large toilet area. The toilet area has a electric flush toilet and it also has a pull-out shower. So this um, toilet area is very large and when you enter, you can actually stand up inside. So there, it's uh, two doors and yeah, I'm able to stand up inside and we have an electric flush toilet with a macerator so even tissue it would flush out and we have your pull out shower with a water system. Right behind the console seat we have Still a large grab rail so you can stand up right behind the pilot when you're underway and also of course something you can never have enough of are cup holders. Right behind the pilot seat we have six cup holders for your drinks even for your mobile phones if you want to put them and secure them. It's a usual dry area. Here at the stern area we have your nice stern seating very comfortable backrest it's a custom backrest that has nice stitching and angled uh, backrest where you can even put up your feet so that you can sit very comfortably here at the stern also once you're here at the stern platform there's a pull out shower so when you're up here you can um, freshen up from uh, going up from a swim or you can just wash any excess dirt that's in your stern area. Water tank capacity is 80 liters, a lot of uh, capacity. So at the stern part of the roof, we have a tow hook and you have your rod holders. Just if you want to keep rods on, do trolling. Uh, also the stern hook is a very nice place to anchor the rope for a wake border. The roof can function like a wake tower. So uh, the wake border will be pulled up easier 
from a higher uh, vantage point. So we have a large open area, large passage in between the console and um, going to midship. You have foam on all the sides, so nice and comfortable. Also grab handles all the way throughout the boat. We have a large fixed roof, which is made out of marine aluminum in a 5083 aluminum. It's all TIG welded. So why do we choose aluminum? Because it's much lighter than stainless. So gives you more economy for the boat because it's uh, much lighter. And it's still as strong as, as stainless as well. So also the boat does not become top heavy. You can notice we have grab handles all around. Here on the console, here on the sides, all throughout the boat, on the roof as well. So this gives a lot of safety if you have kids on board. There's a big feeling of security. If you see the grab rails, it is way above the knee. So unlike other boats that would have, it would be easy to fall overboard. Here, you always have that feeling of being well secured. Now moving towards the center of the boat, we have our center console. The pilot is well placed towards the center and the back of the boat, giving you um, the best feeling when you're running on cruise because nice center of gravity. And when the waves hit, usually it's towards the front. So it's very gonna be a nice, comfortable ride here at the back. And making it even more comfortable is we have a twin bolster type uh, seat here in the center as a captain's chair. Here we have armrests also. So just to show you how much of comfort it, this can give is you're very comfortably seated while piloting and underway. So you can opt for this position and you can also opt to make it a bolster type seat and stand while you pilot. And if you want a higher visibility even, you can take this kind of position which is also still very comfortable. So this is usually a position you wanna take when you have a meter of waves and you have a nice, very good uh, visibility, which gives you a lot more confidence when you're uh, going against a, more than a meter waves because a lower position will make the waves seem higher. So this gives you a lot of confidence and nice position console towards the back. If we move towards the console, we have a nice, very nice Italian steering wheel, large GPS, which is a 10 inch screen. We have your marine switches, nice um, black dashboard trim, gauges. We have also Bluetooth sound system, which is uh, Rockford Fosgate. It's what we, uh, we've tried JL Audio, we've tried a couple, and we believe Rockford is a very reliable brand. You have all your switches nicely laid out, your VHF radio. Going back to the stern, we have a large stern platform extension, which let me demonstrate. It's, uh, I'm a regular sized adult and there's a lot of space for me to walk around here. And behind here, we have our stern folding ladder. This folding ladder is a four-step ladder, so it gives you a um, way to access the water at the back. A little bit about the boat. We have two large 265-liter plastic U.S. smaller fuel tanks. So a total fuel capacity for this 33 interceptor is 530 liters. That will give you an effective range of about uh, 7 hours at 30 miles per hour. So your consumption is around uh, 60 liters per hour. So the burn of this boat at just uh, below 4,000 RPM is, is very good with twin 300s. The fuel consumption is just 
50 to 60 liters per hour. So for the size of the boat, which is a 33 foot boat by 10 feet, it has a very big beam of 10 feet, uh, you are uh, very economical and you can, you can have a lot of passengers also. So with a range of uh, 7 hours at 30 miles, that's almost 200 or more than 200 nautical miles. So there's also an option to increase your fuel tanks longer. We can use our own built aluminum fuel tanks. Our other models, the 34, the 40, all have bigger fuel tanks of uh, up to 700, 800 or 1000 liters. It really depends on how the client will be using the boat and if it's going to be really doing a lot of long range, long distance use, we can recommend that. But 530 liters on this 33 is more than enough and um, you're able to cruise around without having to refuel too many times. So now let me take you guys for a spin. So as you can see, push button feature, very easy to start the boat. We have our electronic throttle here, very responsive throttle. And as you can notice, very little jerking because of the electronic throttle. I just wanted to demonstrate how the boat runs and performs. Steering wheel is a charm to pilot. Very nice feel also on the hands. It's an Italian steering wheel. Right now we're going just a little over a thousand RPM. Six miles. I just want to demonstrate how the boat runs. If you notice compared to an ordinary V-hull, um, this uh, tunnel hull has little to no bow rise. Goes on plane very easily. Right now we're at 2,000, 2,4, full trim down, see the bow rise, very minimal, you still have a very good visibility of the bow, and with the tunnel hull, you can go on either side, walk around the boat, it barely moves, there's no movement, so not like other boats, you go to one side, there's a list to the side, here there's none of that. Very stable, 17 miles at 2,800, very nice to handle the boat, very smooth, there's no listing when you turn, zero listing because of the tunnel hull. So top speed of this boat is 50 miles, right now we're at full fuel, it will reach only about 48 because we also have anti-fouling. Very stable. I can do sharp turns, no problem. Again, so the throttle is very responsive, digital throttle. You have all the power when you need it. And this is only with twin 300s. For a 33, um, it's a very good uh, economy. If you want more power, we can opt for twin 350s or even twin 400s. Right now, we're building about 10 of these and just the 33. And there's a lot of power options that the owners opted for. There are some with twin 225s, twin 250s, 350s, and also 400s. So it's up to you what your purpose of use is. But with the twin 300 Suzuki's, this is a very good boat. So again guys, this is our 33 Interceptor Open. This is a very beautiful boat. It's got very nice lines. Very well built by us, Tronquette Boats. So if you want to see more of our boats, just like this uh, video and subscribe to our channel. And I hope to see you guys out there in the water. Bye-bye.